I grew up with you for the announcement for next fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to head straight into our second fight of the evening. This fight is in the lightweight division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, weighing in at 74.4 kilograms. He stands five feet, six inches tall, holding a record of three wins with two losses. Fighting out of Uzbekistan, representing war dogs, Firuz, Golden Boy, Pochayev! Um, uh, Jovan Kandic was basically playing the hitman role, um, and signaling that and he wants to kill. Introducing his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 74.3 kilos. He stands 5 feet, 7 inches tall, holding a record of 4 wins, 3 losses. Fighting out of Serbia, representing Team Kandic, Jovan Sole. Gandic. And now Jovan Gandic making his way to the octagon, as we were saying. Jovan Gandic was basically playing the hitman yesterday during the weigh-in. And I think that really lifts something up in Firuz. Because he's usually a very humble and uh, quiet guy. But yesterday, there was fire inside. So I think today he might try to go for the knockout. Kind of to show them uh, back to Jovan that maybe he is the hitman. Yeah, uh, I mean, when we were speaking to Jovan, at, I don't know, if, was it breakfast last yesterday morning? I think so. Yeah, and he was telling us, you know, that's one of the reasons why he did this, was to put himself in a position where he has to go to war. Why? Exactly, because, because he has to back it up. Exactly, he has to back up, he has to walk the walk, as they yes. say. There's the pressure of, like, not, not uh, backing up your words, you know, throughout the whole fight, so... If you're getting hit or maybe you think you're losing uh, the round or whatever, this might add to the pressure of the fight. And if he loses someone to back down, as we've seen from his past fights, he's more than happy to throw hands. Yep. And to stand there in the pocket. As uh, risky as it was to have a way in like that from Jovan, uh, you still have to kind of put respect to his name because he chose to put this pressure on him and um, uh, from all the ways I would say this was the most interesting for our viewers. It was the best face-off that there was during the ways, let's say. Oh, look at Feroz, he's got fire in his eyes. I really think Feroz is going to...
Lewis into my corner, I'll fight for several rounds. Lewis so when right I say now. stop, I want you to stop the fight. Now touch gloves and let's do this. Lewis is ready to kill. He is here to do business. Jovan is also ready. Amazing guy, great fighter. He's here to win. However, we're only find out, finding out what's going to happen as soon as the ref ready. gives ready. the go ahead. Jovan starts us off with a calf kick. Solid calf kick and Filos immediately tries to close the distance. And take down the cage. <laughs> almost, almost. Tearing down the cage right on top of us. <laughs> it's a 3D experience here in Central. <laughs> 5D, I would say. <laughs> Damn, beautiful, beautiful reversal from Filos. Getting the takedown. And ending up on top. Control. Is trying to go for the guillotine here. Okay, he goes for the back, trying to get the rear naked choke. Going for the, going for the control first. He's got both his hooks in. This is a both very advantageous hooks. position for, for Firuz in the beginning of the round. Definitely, if Firuz uh, is patient here and stays on the back and tries to get that forearm under the chin like it is right now, we might see another, we might see a tap. It's not completely under the chin and Jovan he manages to release the grip. But Firuz is still on his back. And they're back on their feet. Amazing card by Jovan manages to stand up from that back control. This is a lot of power from Firuz. Yeah, and another nice right hook by Jovan, followed by a head kick. Firuz closes the distance. As he pressures Jovan against the cage, he goes under hooks and Jovan reverses. <laughs> Both fighters exchanging some heavy knees to the body. You can see Jovan's back is Jovan's back is very visibly red already from the throws and the punches and the kicks. Firuz goes with the overhands from left and right overhands. He's going crazy. Just a flurry of punches. Oh my god. Firuz jumping on the back, trying to take back control. He has one hook in. Trying to take him down as he does successfully. Half guard. Oh, Firuz with the full mount. Beautiful progression from takedown to full mount. Full mount. Now trying to land some ground the pound. Let's see if he can perhaps finish from here. Jovan has to be very active here and defend and escape. Otherwise, the referee might stop it. Firuz landed some amazing ground the pound from here. Needs to create distance and perhaps continue with the ground the pound. Jovan needs to get out of there, show the referee that he's still in it, he's still defending, otherwise we might see an early finish. Firuz really in control here, trying to keep landing, and we see another finish. And Firuz is taking back his revenge from the way, and however, it was all obviously for entertainment. I'm sure Jovan has a lot of respect as well. But very well deserved fight, uh, very well deserved win for, for Firuz. Amazing takedown um, uh, skills, top mount immediately, and following up with the ground about. This is these two promised uh, an eventful fight, and from the second the bell rang, they went straight for it. I, now, here we see Firuz coming back to show respect. This is what we love to see. There was obviously a lot of um, tension before the fight which is very normal, however, this is beautiful to watch. Listen, we've definitely seen an improvement in power from Firuz, eh? and you were telling me, because you told me you've rolled it here. Yes, and it is, I think it's the technique, the power was always there, his, his power is unmatchable, but um, with, the, add, with the adding of the skills that he, that he has now, of, especially the grappling skills that he added to his uh, toolkit, it really showed you know, how, how confident he felt, taking the opponent down, uh, progressing, through the positions until he actually Ladies got the win. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We have a winner in the very first round by TKO, Virus Golden Boy Bochaev. I've trained with him before as well, so I'm really proud of him. He deserves this a lot. I also, we also met uh, Jovan during the weigh-ins and after. Yes, yes. Really great guy. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get the result that he deserves today. But he, I, I'm, I'm, I really believe he has a great career in front of him. For sure. Well, this is Kuroz's fourth TKO win as well. Yes, and he... he I, I think he came into this fight trying to get the finish via KO or TKO. He wasn't here to score points. No, <laughs> he no, was no. here to kill. No, no. He came here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. That's and exactly what he did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Coming Look up next, that. we have Onion Zivanovic and Yusuf Al-Kusani. In the meantime, some beautiful replay of uh, as well.